Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastava and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we write Java code solution for question 6 of IAC 2025 Computer Science Boards Specimen Paper, which is this question. So before we begin, it is a request to please, please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only 2 to 3 are subscribed. More than 95% of my audience is not subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So we have to write Java code solution for question 6 of ISC class 12th, uh, 2025 computer science board specimen paper. This is the question. Okay. Take a minute and give this a reading. Okay. So in this question, you have been given two strings. One is the input string and other is the mask string. Okay. You have to remove all characters of the mask string from the original string. So for example, if your original string is communication and a mask string is M O N T. So you have to remove all occurrences of M O N T from this original string. So you get this, all right? So the characters in the original order remain the same. The order does not change is just that Whichever characters are there in the mask are removed. So O, M are removed, N is removed, T is removed. So we are left with C, U, I, C, A, I. Okay. And that's what the, what's the output. Okay. So you have been also given uh, the class name, data members and member methods. You also have to write a main to create an object and call the functions accordingly. Okay. So I'm going to start writing the class. The class name is class string op. All right, uh, make sure your name of the class is exactly the same. Okay. As mentioned in the question that right? you don't want to give uh, the examiner any kind of a chance to deduct your marks. Okay. So we have three data members, uh, str, msk, and str, all are strings. So to store the original string, private string, string, str. Okay. Uh, to store the mask string uh, with string msk okay not mask right make sure the name of the data members again is exactly the same as mentioned in the question then to store the new string so private string nstr or lowercase okay these are my data members so for my default constructor i need to initialize the data member with legal initial value so I have all my constructors and member methods public. So class string op default constructor takes no parameters, sets the strings to legal initial value. So initialize them to a blank string. Okay. And they say legal initial value because by default, if you don't provide them a blank value, they are all null. Okay. Because they are all non primitive types. Okay. Then we move on to the next method, which is void accept to accept original string and the mask string in lower case. So public void accept. Okay. Scanner class object to accept input from the user. Ask the user to enter a string. So sys out. Okay. Print enter a string. Okay. And this string goes into your str. So scanner dot next line. I am using next and not next line because there is no requirement that says that the original string cannot have a white space, can have a white space too. So I will read the entire line as one single string into my str. Okay. Then ask the user to enter the mask string. Okay. So same thing. Okay. Enter the mask string and you say msk is scanner dot next line. Okay. Because there is no requirement on the mask as well that it cannot contain a white space. Okay. And you have to uh, accept them in lowercase. Okay. So we convert both these strings to lowercase. Okay. Similarly, msk is msk dot lowercase. Okay. Your accept method is done. We move on to void form to form the new string NSTR after removal uh, character within the mask and original string. So public void form okay so we have to create an str now setting an str to blank okay so you do this only if you have not done this okay and you should be doing this because 
you're setting nstr to a legal initial value so you don't do this okay so even if you do this again it is okay but if you don't do this it's fine as well okay so we have to remove all characters of mask from this original string okay but I will not change the state of my original string because I will have to print my original string in this display method. Okay. And whenever you have to work on a data member, okay, do some operations on a data member, which is to be printed later, it is recommended that you do not change this value. You don't change the state of this value. Take a variable, uh, which is a copy of this value and then perform operations on it. Okay. So temp value to store the original string so that I don't change my original string i say string temp is str okay now how do we go about removing each character of this mask from this string so i've already uploaded a video where i explain how to remove all occurrences of a character from a string in java and the link of that video you can find in the description of this video we will have to use the same idea but in this case we have to do it with multiple characters of the mask string we have to because you have to remove all characters of the mask string from the original string okay so how do we go about this okay so i have been given my str which is basically my temp right now is say communication my mask is which is msk is m o n t okay i am going to pick up each character of this mask okay and remove it from temp so for each ch in mask okay what I do remove ch from temp okay what do I mean by this is when I say remove lowercase m okay from communication and I get I remove m m here so I get my the updated string is c o u n i c a t i o n okay so you will have to store this string somewhere which we store in nstr okay so store new string in nstr okay because we will be wanting to store the final string that we get by removing all characters of mask from the original string into nstr that's why we are storing new string into nstr okay now we have to remove we removed m from this we have to remove o from this so next is remove okay and we have to remove o from this updated string and not this original string okay because you have to keep removing characters from the original string starting from the original string okay so now my temp is not this my temp has to be this because i'm removing ch from temp okay so after this is done we do set temp to an str okay and my loop closes that is the next character that I have to remove has to be removed from temp, which is NSTR. So temp now becomes this. So we have to remove O from this. So you get NSTR as uh, C U N I C A T I N. Okay. And then you set temp again to this because you're setting temp to NSTR. Temp was set here as well. And then you remove the next character, which is remove. Uh, lowercase n okay so you get nstr as uh, c u i c a t i okay this is your nstr which you set to temp again okay we are setting temp to nstr so you get after removing the last character which is t okay you remove this you get c u i c a i which is the output we want okay and since we are storing the new string in str we do set an str to blank before each operation because we are building nstr by removing ch from temp so nstr has to start with blank all right let me just code this and i print values and it will be much more clearer to you okay okay temp is nstr so for each ch in uh, mask so for int i equal to zero i less than msk dot length plus plus we get the ch as msk dot caret i okay set nstr to blank okay nstr to blank because you will be storing the string updated string by removing ch from temp into nstr so it has to start from blank otherwise we'll be accumulating accumulating all the characters 
okay remove ch from temp and store the updated updated string in uh, nstr so for int j equal to 0 is less than temp dot length j plus plus okay we have to add all the characters from temp to an str which are not equal to ch so if ch is not equal to the jth character in temp so temp dot caret j okay. if this is not the character if ch is not this character we add it to nstr so plus equal to plus equal to temp dot caret j temp dot caret j okay and set temp to nstr because we will be removing the next ch from temp only okay so temp has to be updated to the string which was formed by removing the previous ch okay and it keeps on keeps going on till we have not used all the characters of the mask okay so this is your form method all right the final part the final method needed is display all right so public void display okay so you have to print the original string and the really form string so does not say you to print the mask you can print the pass not print the mask does not matter then okay uh, uh, original string i will say str that's why i did not change the state of my original string i will also print the mask string this is not a part of the requirement but i'm doing this because i'll be debugging and then new string okay str okay all right so my class is done i'll have to write a main method to check this so uh, public static void main string yeah, yes okay we create a string op object string op string op is new string op default constructor calling the functions accept first then we call a uh, form and then we call display okay all right so running this enter a string commune oh, unication mask string is m o n t i get c u i c i the way i wanted okay let me run this again code with bk okay I will say uh, code okay so code was gone okay and with BK remains okay then I'll say my name Bali Krishna my mastering is going to be Bali Bai my friends call me Bali Bai so space is gone character B is gone character A is gone character I is gone character L is gone so this is what I'm left with okay one last simple case so if I my string is a okay mask is a my new string is blank i'm not left with anything if my original string is say virat holy and if my mask string is say bbbb okay does not occur in this string so new string is this okay all right and you have to accept the original string in lower case that's why the output of the original string is in lower case all right so this was the solution to question Six of IST 225 computer science boards specimen paper. So I hope you like this video and this was helpful. So if there's any doubt, there's a part you do not understand, please let me know in the comments. I always try to answer all your comments and the solutions to other questions of this particular paper, computer science boards specimen paper, will be on my channel. The links for those videos you can find in the description of this video. So please let me know your thoughts and you can always let me know in the comments if there's a question you want to solve or there's a concept you want to discuss. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.